Knoxville. On Sunday we took off. We had a nice balloon flight with two passengers. It was a private ride from Noblesville Elementary, and we were heading to the southeast, which puts us towards Geist. Our plan was to land at about 116th Street, but the winds were a little bit stronger than we expected that night. Not dangerously stronger, just faster. We were moving faster than we thought we were going to that evening. We were going about 8, 10 miles an hour. And as we go up to 116th Street, we couldn't get the right angle to land the balloon. These balloons don't always don't have a steering wheel, so we got to go where the balloon takes us. We decided to go ahead and fly over the reservoir. Once you get past the reservoir, there's a lot of landing spots over near uh, Carroll Road and 86th Street, so that's the area we're heading to. Once we got to the edge of the water, the wind slowed down to about two miles an hour, which slowed the boat up, which is great when you're ready to land, but not when you're over water. So as we look ahead of us, we had a choice to make. We keep flying and try to make it over the water, which is a lot of trees before you get to the landing spots, or right in front of us was the 96th Street Bridge to land on. First thing I looked for, I called my crew, there's no power lines on that bridge, so it made it perfect for an ideal landing spot. The only problem with landing on that bridge is there's a lot of traffic that goes across it. So my crew, through radio contact, saw the DV, uh, DNR, DNR people, police, marina police there. They talked to them. They're gracious to help us. And they had us call the Fishers Police Department to come out and help block traffic. So we landed the balloon safely. The DNR guys helped us. We got the balloon in the medium. We're standing there with the balloon upright. Looks like we're there for a show. It's a perfect landing. You couldn't ask for a better landing that evening. And we waited for the Fishers Police Department to get there. They got there and they blocked the traffic on both ends of the bridge. Once they blocked the traffic, we deflated the balloon, normal deflation, there was no wind like I said, and we had the balloon put away in 10 minutes. The Fishers and Police Department were great that they appreciated the fact that we called them rather than land and then call them, so they appreciated that. It's not uncommon to land in the middle of a street providing there's no power lines, but we typically don't land in a busy street like 96th Street or the bridge there. We would usually pick a street that's more out in the country that's not traveled as much. It was not emergency landing. We needed the land, it was getting dark, but we could have flown on, but it would have been right on the edge where an emergency landing would have come necessary if we kept going. So I guess that's the best way to put it is, it was the best place to land without getting into an emergency. They see a balloon coming, come ask if you can help. Usually it's a lot of fun, people want to be there. Very seldom are we having, a, I've never had a crash landing, so balloons land on purpose where they land. We don't have a steering wheel, we don't take off from airports, we don't fly to airports, we kind of fly where the wind takes us. Keep in mind though, if we land in someone's private property, we have always have two crew people, one guy goes to the front door, goes to the property owner, are you okay if we land here? If we have to land there, usually they let us land the first time, they ask us not to do it again, but 90% of the time people love having us at their part of property. It's a lot of fun, they come out and take pictures and they try to get into the picture if they can. Well, we're gonna try not to land on 96th Street as a regular habit, that's not a good thing to do. It was needed that night because it was just a right thing to do. But MidwestBalloonRides.com, uh, our website's got a ton of videos, our pricing, our schedule, everything's on there. Even if you don't want to come fly a balloon, you can send us an email and come out and watch us fly away if you want to. There's no cost to do that.